This heavily edited image of a golden retriever with a wide grin and a text saying, Smile for me, was part of a series of Facebook posts made in 2009. The posts were made by a user named, Goldie Retriever. Goldie's posts generally say that Goldie, the dog shown in the image, wants you to smile and that you should share their image to make someone happy. The posts initially started out more light-hearted, but as Goldie posted, they began to delve into more sensitive topics. Various posts with Goldie often talked about sensitive topics and threatened harm on those who viewed the posts if they didn't spread the word. The threats weren't empty, as those who didn't spread Goldie's image were either found dead or missing. Another post also followed with a video of Goldie's darkened face and a text-to-speech voice assumed to be Goldie's. The video shows a grey background before showing Goldie. What Goldie is saying in the video is as follows. Hey. It's me, Goldie. I know bad things are happening, but I can help you. All I need you to do is spread the word. If you don't, you won't like what comes next. The threat Goldie made in the video was also linked to the previous posts that threatened harm to anyone who didn't spread the word. The amount of murders related to Goldie only rose after the video was posted. Goldie also had a presence on the dark web, as the image served as the face of a short-lived darknet market called, Goldie's Smile. After the site's seizure by the FBI in 2010, it stayed seized for good. Those who saw the Goldie posts often didn't, spread the word, as the posts told them to, due to beliefs that the murders and disappearances were just rumors. Authorities could never find the missing victims as the perpetrators were good at covering their tracks, so evidence was scarce. Speculation arose as to who was behind the Goldie-related murders. The most common theory was whoever was running the Goldie Retriever account. Because the murderer was good at covering their tracks, there was no concrete evidence, so no theories could be proven until a photo of them was taken and posted on various social media platforms. The photo gave authorities the information they needed to arrest the person behind Goldie. They are serving life in prison for mass murder and kidnapping. Most of the missing victims were found with minor injuries, but some of them had to be hospitalized because of the condition they were in. The Goldie murders and kidnappings stopped in the 2020s when the murderer was arrested. At the crime scenes where some victims died, there was only one piece of evidence that forensics were able to link to the person that was sentenced to life imprisonment. A clump of gold fur was found on each of the victims' desks.